Meet our hapless hero, who's just blinked back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. This is a time of year when people get sick. It's also a time of year when people buy a lot of video games. All the big hits. The sequels, the shooters, the... The shooters. Holiday season is the season for the gaming industry. But if the world were fair, and if we bought what was fun instead of what was hyped, you'd hear less about sequels and shooters, and more about games like this. It won't be in your little shopper's guide, and it doesn't have unlockable testosterone rifles or squad-based kill sessions, but Puppeteer is creative, it's cool, it's memorable, and it's fun. It, that still counts for something, right? And so Kutaro's fortunes were starting to look up. After all, he was now the proud owner of a pair of enchanted scissors. Still, it wasn't all good luck. Remember, Calibus belonged to the Moon Bear King. You know, it's also pretty straightforward, at least in terms of its mechanics. There's a platformer in that classic 2D style. You're jumping on platforms, mashing an attack button to dispose of the bad guys. There's nothing here you haven't seen before. Only, you've never seen anything quite like Puppeteer. It takes the familiar and gives it a whole new spin. So, if you like games with style, you're gonna love this. He plays a little wooden boy. His name's Kutaro. And right off the bat, he loses his head. No, literally, his, his head falls off when some evil Oogie Boogie lookalike tears him apart. And so poor Kutaro sets off with only a strange floating cat thing to keep him company to find a new head. Or heads, I guess, if you look hard enough. In fact, that unfortunate accident sets up Puppeteer's central gameplay element. You can use lots of things, skulls, bugs, bananas, even guillotines, as heads. So you can store up to three heads at a time, each of which gives Kutaro a special ability, and more importantly, act like hearts or lives. Lose a head, you better chase it down. Otherwise, down to two. Lose that head and you're down to one. Lose that one, no more heads. That's okay. Next time. And so, in addition to just being awesome, the cool thing about the heads is that, you know, there's an element of management there as well. Certain heads are going to be more useful than others at certain times. So, you know, you might stumble across a giant panda in the background, at which point it'd be a good thing if you had the panda head. You know, wearing the right head at the right time unlocks secret areas. So you want to be careful which head you're using and which head you're saving in the inventory. The, the inventory of heads. So it's largely familiar 2D platforming, plus the whole heads thing. But there's also another element of Puppeteer, and that's Kutaro's magic pair of scissors. So he can use them as his weapon, right? You mash the attack button, you slice fools up. But the scissors are also an important means of transportation. So if you see something you can cut, uh, whether it's cloth or magical leaves or whatever, you can slice through them and ride the scissors. And Puppeteer's puppet show theme means there's lots of different material. It's all over the place. In fact, it, I mean, it kind of reminds me of Kirby's Epic Yarn. There's always something to slice. You know, as fun as the gameplay is, it's that theme that really steals the show. It's the aesthetic. Puppeteer really looks like a puppet show. The characters are all wooden puppets, with buttons sewn on and cloth stitched to their bodies. And the game takes place from the perspective of an audience. They laugh, they applaud, and each level is like a new act. It's just an incredibly cool concept, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Rip that bit of moonstone right out of your mouth! Well, when I find that idiot who blabbed about the night in front of... This game isn't doing anything crazy, but what it does do is take what is arguably gaming's most familiar genre and dress it up with a style so creative and elegant you almost don't recognize it. It's a game that's as fun to look at as it is to play. And holy crap is it fun to play. 
platforming fans will love that there's actually some clever platforming. Tim Burton fans will love the game's style. It's like if Beetlejuice were a puppet show. And fans of games, the ones with creativity instead of hype, will love Puppeteer. I'm Picarina. On behalf of the sun, let me say thank you. 